bere bere basi karab na karab rab praise the lord thank you jesus hallelujah praise god so we can start with the prayer in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen thank you lord thank you above father thank you jesus thank you holy spirit thank you lord for this wonderful day you've given us to study your word to learn your word thank you holy spirit you teach us lord you guide us you help us to understand this wonderful truth to make this teaching extremely simple and easy so that we may understand it and not only understand it lord but apply it in our life and when we apply it in our life we can see your glory we, we can see everything of yours manifesting in our lives thank you jesus thank you holy spirit thank you our father lord lord, lord 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 help us to understand the secrets and the mysteries of your kingdom in a very very simple very very easy and a very very practical way and you confirm your word with signs wonders and practical examples lord while we are all doing the work of your kingdom we can see results we can see 100% uh your thing what you want how you want us to live that's how our life is going to be lord thank you and praise you lord jesus in the glorious and mighty name of our lord jesus christ amen amen amen, amen. praise god thank you jesus thank you holy spirit praise the lord so um praise god now today we study on about how god's kingdom works works now we have to understand how how god's kingdom works how the kingdom of heaven how the kingdom of light works now does the scripture say we have been given the power and the authority yes yes the scripture says that we have been given the power and authority which this the same power and authority which god had okay i i say the scripture we'll study from the scripture good to peter chapter 1 verse 4 Praise God. Okay, read from three. Yeah, I read it. Okay, according as His divine power has given unto us something, all things. all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and virtue now according as his divine power so this according to his divine power what way is god's divine power god divine yes. power pardon it does okay god's divine power is in his word now god gave us the word and when we take this word when we speak this word we are releasing the same power the same divine power so this divine power is in his word The word of God itself is power. Hebrews four twelve says, "The word of God is quick and is powerful." So the word of God does not have power. The word of God is power, and this divine power, this God's, according as His divine power, that His divine power is God's divine power. 
and God's power is in his word. But that does not mean if I keep the word on the altar, if I keep the word locked up into the cupboard, I will not be able to see the result. The, the power in, is in the word. Yes, the, the word itself is power. But how much am I taking the word and how much am I speaking the word? That matters. Yeah. Now, this power, this divine power is the word of God. Okay. And see the next verse. The next verse is continuation. Okay, before we go to the next verse, see this. Through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and virtue. What does this mean? Put compare. Okay, see this. For his divine power has bestowed on us Absolutely everything necessary for a yeah, necessary for a dy dynamic spiritual life and godliness through through true and personal knowledge of him that has who called us by his own glory and excellence. Now when I am ex when I'm uh, you know, when I'm soaking myself in the knowledge of God, when I'm only munching on the knowledge of God's word, when I'm continuously focusing on the word of God, now it is that word is what calls us to glory and what, what does it mean is when I'm exposing myself to God's word, what am I be able to see? What will be I able be able to see? I will be able to see glory in my life. What is glory? Glory is okay. Glory is seeing God's invisible power with my physical eyes. Glory is seeing God's invisible power. With my physical eyes. So when I am exposing myself to the knowledge of God, when I am continuously studying this word, that's when this, this glory will manifest in my life. I will be able only to see the glory of God in my life. That is physical, physical power, physically with my eyes. I will be able to see healing happening. I will be able to see miracles happening. I will be able to see signs, wonders and deliverance happening, taking place. Because I am through the knowledge of God, I will be able to see glory and virtue. That's what it means by through the knowledge of him, he has called us to glory and virtue. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Now, yeah, put 2 Peter chapter 1 was good. One minute. Put him, kid. Put him, kid. Jv. Okay. Whereby are giving unto us exceeding great precious promises. Yeah. That by these you might be partakers of the divine nature. Having escaped the corruption that is in the world to lust. Now, whereby are given unto us what? Exceeding great and precious promises. So the knowledge of God is what? Exceeding great and precious promises. That is what, you know, the knowledge of the word. What is the knowledge of the word? That is the promise which he has given us. I have to take this promise. I uh, speak this promise, apply this promise, and I will be able to see the result physically in my life. Yeah, see this. That by these, you might be partakers of the divine nature. 
now what does that mean what is god's divine nature god's divine nature was okay god god's love for us what was jesus's nature jesus's nature was always to love to his personality was always to give to love to you know to be merciful to have compassion to be all those things correct yes now in the same way that we are the same partakers of the divine nature now how can we be partakers of the divine nature see this god has given unto us exceeding great and precious promises when i take this promise and meditate this promise now i might be partakers of the divine nature see this that by these by these great and precious promises you might be partakers of the divine nature so how are we going to have the same nature of jesus christ only when i take this exceeding great and precious promises apply them in our life that's the main key yeah having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust okay now to meditate on god's promises is the key to be a partaker of god's divine nature and he say can you give the scripture up you know this card okay thank you jesus hallelujah okay now okay see this having escaped the corruption that is in the world to lust now what is god's nature is god's nature to have the lust of the flesh can you repeat is god's nature to have the lust of the flesh no Never. no never god's nature god's divine nature not god's nature god's divine nature is to love to be merciful to have compassion correct yes that is god's divine nature in the same way we are the partakers of the divine nature so it's saying when we are partakers of the divine nature now we have escaped the corruption that is in the world god's nature is not to live in the corruption the lust to the flesh now in the same way when we are partakers of the divine nature we are no longer going to live we have escaped we are not going to live in the corruption that is in the world to lust and now we are set free from it let's go now why now why i took this picture was okay what you know now god has given us power and authority okay god has given us his power not my power but his power and his ability that's what we see in the third verse according as his divine power now we are all law enforcers we are all law enforcers okay what does this mean do you know what what do you mean by that what do you mean by we are all law enforcers okay what it means is when you say we are law enforcers means we are the ones who enforce the law of god's kingdom now in certain countries in certain places there are police officers correct yes please call you know i can't hear you yes you are on mute yeah i was on mute yes now what is the job of the police officer cash those who don't 
obey the rules? Those who don't obey the law? Yeah. So police are police this job is not to obey the law, correct? No. No. Police officer's job is to uh, catch those who don't obey the law. Now, the police officer's job is to enforce the law. I remember Papa is always saying this. You have to be a police officer. Can you repeat that? Okay. The job of the police officer is to enforce the law of the land. Okay. Now I've heard Papa always say there are, you know, especially for the children, you will always say that they are police officers. Why? Because we enforce the word, the law, spiritual laws. Yeah. Now I give him an example. Now if your parents are speaking all day, okay, example. This is just an example, okay. The parents are speaking all day. They know the word, but they are speaking all day. Now, what will you go and tell them? They must not speak like this. They must speak like yes. this. The spiritual law them. is, the spiritual law is, life and de death and life are in the power of the tongue. That's the spiritual law. So now what you are doing, you are saying, no, don't speak that, speak life. What you speak will come to life. Why? You are enforcing the spiritual law. So we are all law enforcers. God has given us the authority to enforce law. Press God now. Okay. Now, the police officers, they don't create law, but they enforce law. There's a big difference. It is not them who create the law. It's not them who create the law. But it is their job to enforce the law in the land. And so, this is how you said, okay, Jihai, you know, when you said, if somebody is doing something wrong, they will catch, they will do all that. Yes, because that's the job to enforce the law of the land. That is the job. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Uh, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Nathan. It is the judge that makes the law, if I'm correct. Um, it actually it is not the judge. Also, it is the uh, people who are in the parliament, the prime minister. He, that that's the person who makes the law. The judge is also just just making justice with that law. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Now, the job of the yeah, praise God. Okay, yes, yes, Nathan. Praise God. Now, the job of the police officer is to enforce the law, not to create law. If they're not going to create new laws. If they're going to create new laws, then they're going, that's all their opinion and there'll be thousand laws. <laughs> Correct? Yes. yes. They will yes. keep on making laws and laws, laws and laws and laws. They will find every laws. mistake and then for every mistake there will be new laws and then just think how many mistakes we are making. There will be over 1000 laws by the first week. Yeah. Praise God. Yes, every police officer will have 100 laws. Praise God. But then, <laughs> God, we, even we are law enforcers. We do not create law. God has already created the law we are the one who enforce the law. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Now, God has given us the authority to enforce law. The law is already created. Now, how can I understand this law? Now, put Joshua chapter 1 who said, I will not go deep in that. I will just show you that main part of it. Can I read? Okay, yes, Nathan. Um, yes, Nathan. You can read. Okay, Daniel wanted to read. You can read. Okay, I'll read. The book, this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, 
that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written there, for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Okay, now this book of the law. I will not go deep into the whole scripture. We have studied that, but I'll see the main part of it. This book of the law. Now, what is who is this book? What is this book? This book is the Bible. Now, the Bible is full of laws and principles. Praise God. The Bible is full of laws. The Bible is full of principles. It's a law. It's a book full of laws, spiritual laws. Not physical laws, but spiritual laws. Okay? And these laws, spiritual laws, are created by God. Now, when you say these spiritual laws that are created by God, it is our job, or it is only our job to enforce the law. God has already created the law. We are the ones who just enforce the law. Praise God. Now, the authority to enforce the law was given to man, to Adam. But because through sin, we became the slave. We became the slave of the enemy and we lost this authority. But then, when we believe in Jesus Christ, when we accept Jesus as our Lord, God, and Savior, now we have received this power back. Praise God. Now, when the very moment we are born again, now the same power. Now, Jesus took the Jesus died on the cross 2,000 years ago. What did he do on the cross? He, everything that we had given away because we became slaves of the enemy through sin, he, he returned it, he restored it back for us, the authority, the power. Everything that God had given us to live a, a healthy, wealthy, whole, long, prosperous life, we gave it to the devil. Because we became slaves. But then once we believe in what Jesus has done, now we receive this authority back. And when we receive this authority back, now we have the same power again to enforce law. But only when we believe. Because Jesus has done everything. But only when we believe. This world, they don't believe. Because they don't believe, they cannot enforce the laws. They are more, they're slaves of the enemy through sin. But now we are set free from sin by the truth which was preached to us. Now we have, we have to take this opportunity to enforce law. Means to preach the gospel. And when I say enforce the law, I'm not talking about law means you have to, you should not go and say, okay, now you have to keep the law. If you want God to accept you, yeah. You have to be holy, you have to be pure, you have to be go to church every day, you have to do every rosary, you have to do everything. No. That's not what God is telling us to do. That enforcing of the law is God has done everything for us. Now, it is that spiritual law of believing it and receiving it. It is that, you know, uh, in this, uh, this is an unseen spiritual law, which is given to us. Now, we, these laws are all laws, not to do my sweat, my effort, just to believe it, receive it, speak life. That's another law. Life and death is in the power of your tongue. So God has given us these laws. These laws are not you should go and condemn somebody. No, these laws are, you were like this. You were like that. But now, God is saying, I've accepted you. Now, because of that love, you can do this. You can do that. Praise God. Because the scripture clearly says, nothing of our own effort will be, we, we will be able to receive grace. Nobody can say, I will go and work hard and I will receive grace. No. Because grace, you know, and if you see in Ephesians 2, 8, it's saying, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. 
Press call. Did you understand? Press God. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, praise the Lord. So we can um, end this session. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Okay, we can make an ending prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Abba Father, for teaching us this wonderful truth. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for revealing us secrets and mysteries of your kingdom. Lord, help us to apply whatever we have learned in our life. And Lord, as we are going to school, it is your wisdom, your knowledge, which is helping us to do all our studies in school, Lord. And we get all the opportunities to enforce the law of the kingdom, the law of believing it, receiving it, the law in your word, not for them to work hard, to labor, but the law where you where it is, you, you have to just believe it and receive it, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for this day you have given us to preach your word and to abide in your word. And Lord, as we are abiding in your word, to abide in your word is not only to study your word. And to abide in your word is not only to hear your word, but to abide in your word is to apply your word and help us, Lord, to preach the same word to others so that they can also see miraculous results in their life. Thank you and praise you, Lord Jesus, and the glorious and mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise Amen. God. Praise the Lord. We can pray in Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus.